Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is something that I ordered a month ago, I think, something like that. Uh, my wife and I were on a, on a Planet Earth kick. We are watching a bunch of them on um, Netflix. Planet Earth and uh, Frozen Planet and all the other ones. Life, I think it was called, too. And we were just kind of watching a bunch of these, and it was cool. And I thought, I wonder, I wonder how much I used to own the first Planet Earth here. And by the way, this is the Planet Earth collection. I should probably mention what I'm looking at here. It's the Planet Earth collection. I can't speak. Uh, Planet Earth 1 from about 2006 or 7, I think. And then Planet Earth 2, which came out a year or two ago. You'll probably tell me in the back here. I think so. Um, I sold my original copy a long time ago. Um, for a profit, I think, because I got it really cheap the first time. And then, But then, I, like I said, it's always nice to have these. Um, just because the reference quality for Blu-ray... If this was 4K, it would have been even better, but I don't have a 4K player. But uh, even just Blu-ray, they're very good quality. Planet Earth was, anyway. Um, I thought it was cool to have. This is, these are cool things to have on your collection. Like I said, reference quality stuff and just that it's, it's fascinating stuff. But I wanted to get this because... Or I wanted to do a video, I mean. Because I was originally looking for video unboxings of this, and I could not find one. And Because I, I wanted to see what this looked like. I didn't know if it was two discs like this, or two cases, or if it was a fold-out, or whatever it was. So for anyone else who was interested like me, here's an unboxing. So... Yeah, I think this is a, a, a year old now. I, like, I don't remember. I got it for twenty four ninety nine, and as of this uh, video, it still is twenty four ninety nine, and it's been twenty four ninety nine for, like I said, on and off for about a month. So I don't know if they're trying to offload these because it's a collection that no one's buying. But I thought it was a good deal for two seasons. I think I bought the first Planet Earth back in two thousand eight for like fifty dollars. So although that did come with something else, I don't know if you can hear this. There is some case damage in here. And also, I don't know if you can tell from the video here, but there's... I got this from Amazon, like I said. So this looks like a spider wrap was on here, which is actually irritating. I don't like that. And that's weird to me, because why the hell would there be a spider wrap on a, sitting in a warehouse? Very odd. Okay, it's that one that's doing it. Planet Earth, six disc... Sisk, oh my god, six disc special edition. That should not be that much of a tongue twister, but apparently it was. Oop, there it is. A little piece there. Uh, let's see if I can find where it went. Oop, there's more. Oop. <laughs> a larger piece. So when I hear disc one, disc two. Disc three, disc four, disc five, and disc six. Oh, look at that. It's breaking apart there. I'm gonna get a new fucking thing, aren't I? I could try turning it, I suppose, but eh. It took, like I said, it took a month to even get this because it was back ordered. That's not a big deal. It still closes. I don't remember if these are the same exact discs. Like I said, I sold the my previous one a while ago. These look a little different than I remember, but like I said, it was it was a while ago. I don't recall it being six discs either, but I think there are twice as many episodes in this room than, than in this one. This is what feels like two discs. Which, by the way, look at this stupid thing. Okay. Yeah, two discs. Talk, Earth Journeys. Fruit Box. Oh. Um, the only six episodes in this season slash, whatever you call it, Planet Earth 2 sequel. Um, this case sucks. I don't like that. It's shrink-wrapped. So this is, I remember, I remember reading about that. I remember when I bought, um, what was it? Um, Sherlock Holmes and the Orphan Black. Was that BBC as well, actually? Maybe they were, actually. They read, they take like old crappy packaging and put them in this box and sell them as a, as a set. <laughs> I, th I don't know if, I, if that's actually accurate or not, but this was obviously shrink-wrapped at one point and then shoved in here. I got one and then sold. So I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's annoying. And it's eco-friendly case too. Um, 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 how about I take a look at the special features on these? Besides complaining, which is what I usually do apparently. Um, <clears throat> for anyone who hasn't seen Planet Earth, it just takes 
like footage from places like Africa and uh, like the North Pole, not the North Pole, Antarctica, all sorts of like jungle settings, winter settings, uh, desert settings of animals living in those areas and how they're surviving and different kinds of things like uh, survival uh, of predators and prey and running away and, and, and surviving in terrible conditions, either heat or cold. Very cool, I thought, from back then. In 2000, I think it's 2006. Am I saying that wrong? 2017 for this. Uh, yep, 2006. Yep. Four new bonus programs. Great Plains. Wait, sure. Great. I can't fucking speak. Great Planet Earth moments. Snow Leopard beyond the myth. Secrets of the Maya underworld. Elephant nomads of the Nam Namib desert. Frozen Planet sneak peek. Music only viewing option. That's kind of cool. Who doesn't like listening to David Attenborough speak? So actually I have two cases to replace. And this one, it says, narrated again by David Attenborough, in the world revealed. Well, I thought it was pretty much the same idea, but now. Five stars is a million now for this program. Plus for release to tech. Well, I guess you can read that if you want talking about when it was previously released and then making this one. And I believe it took 10 years of footage or 12 years of footage to make Planet Earth. Like, that's what I read anyway. I don't know if that's true. Uh, that's why you. That's why I have so much footage and why it can be six discs and talking about all this information. It's, it's, that was very cool. I, I, I'm assuming everyone who's, who was watching this has seen Planet Earth, at least some of it, and then probably at this point seen Planet Earth too as well. But anyway... Uh, each episode showing how this installation footage was captured. That's cool. And Planet Earth Diaries. I'm pretty sure I... I don't know if I watched all of this with my wife. I think I watched most of it. Very cool, though. Like I said, I was just glad to get it for 25 bucks for both seasons. Or both series, or whatever you call it. Anyway. Like I said, I just wanted to show what it looked like inside. Um, because I couldn't find one online. The case is nice, although I wish it wasn't damaged, but I guess I could try returning it. Yes, it's on the sides here, too. Um, and there's their sticker for making it cheaper, I guess. I don't know. I probably don't need to. The cases are easily replaceable. I think I even have a couple of cases that I can use, so not a big deal. And what was this again? Some more talk? Talk? Travel company. Cool. All this nature stuff, it's always neat. And this is a brick box powered by BBC and ITV. The most British TV you can get anywhere, anytime. No way. Faulty Towers, which is. I've only seen a couple episodes of that, but that's pretty funny. Where's Marion Time? Never heard of it. And The Moonstone. Never heard of it. Alright, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. The Planet Earth Collection. Nerdy by David Attenborough. He's like 90-something or something. I don't know. What are they going to do when he dies? They, no one's going to be able to narrate this stuff. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again with more Steelbooks and crap unboxings because I got so much crap coming in constantly. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you again soon. Uh, later.